Meanwhile, conservatives here in Washington gearing up for their annual CPAC gathering tomorrow. It, the conference is already mired in some controversy. One of the sponsors of this year's conference is the gay conservative group Go Proud. Now, some CPAC leaders are urging members to ban gay groups. Some are boycotting the conference as a result. Tony Perkins is president of the Family Research Council, which is refusing to participate. Uh, Tony, let's talk about this because we're reaching a point where uh, there's been so much movement, the military, don't ask, don't tell, um, gay Republicans from the Cheney family on to other families, some members of the McCain family. So why boycott the Conservative well, Political Action Committee, which is a group that you have had such a role in uh, participating in in the past? Well, Andrea, first, we're not boycotting. Well, we, we have not participated for the last three years because of a leftward drift that goes back really prior to uh, Go Proud's involvement. It goes back to uh, those that are pushing to, for the expansion of legalized gambling, uh, for those that which affects the family, uh, for those that are pushing for the legalization of, of drugs. Uh, and then this clearly was one that galvanized opposition to Go Proud, I mean to go uh, to CPAC because of Go Proud. But this is not about who should attend or who should speak. It's about who should set the agenda, and that's what's important to note here. As a co-sponsor, they're a part of setting the agenda, and it's hard to, to really grasp the idea that those who are working to redefine marriage can sit at the same table and discuss, discuss strategy with those who are trying to promote and protect traditional marriage. And that's but really what's at the that, issue here. Some would argue that that's a traditional value, that marriage is a value that, that the Family Research Council has held dear, and that you know, that this is not a left-right issue, that this is now an issue that crosses across all sorts of party lines. Well, it's not the redefinition of, of, of family and what it means, uh, as uh, all history has shown us, marriage between a man and a woman. That's not at debate among true conservatives. And that's what the, the point here is. Those things can be debated in the broader culture, and we do it all the time. We do it here on Why MSNBC. Why not go to the conference and debate them? Well, well because this is, that's, that's, this is not a conference in which uh, people from the left and right come together. This is where conservatives come together uh, to advance a strategy to move the movement forward. And if we're debating what core conservative principles are that have been settled for years, then, then there's a broader problem here. And I think that's what the, uh, the focus is on, is that uh, somehow CPAC has kind of lost its way. Tony, do you think that, that conservatives who have aspirations for 2012 should not be speaking at CPAC? Because you've got a long list of candidates who are. No, not necessarily, and I think some of them are going there and going to deliver a message that if the conservative movement wants to be successful, they can't jettison these core conservative principles, which include family. I mean, it's un it, you, you couldn't begin to comprehend that the CPAC would allow somebody to come and speak who is a part of the Brady campaign that wants to restrict the Second Amendment. That wouldn't happen. Uh, but for somehow, it's, it's, it's okay to have somebody be a part of the steering committee who wants to redefine marriage. That's not acceptable, and I think that's the message that being sent not just by social conservatives but by others who understand that for the conservative movement to be successful it has to be a coalition that respects uh, those core conservative principles that each uh, different aspect of the movement represents. Tony Perkins from the Family Research Council, thank you very much. And here for an entirely different point of view, Christopher Barron, co-founder and chairman of GoProud. Uh, well, at this stage, does CPAC lose its influence because of your participation? Absolutely not. And I, I, let, me, let me start off by saying, Andrea, uh, I feel a little bit like Bob Dole here uh, after listening to Tony. Uh, the fact is, is Tony needs to stop lying about our record. Uh, he keeps talking about redefining marriage when if you go and you look at our legislative agenda, Go Proud doesn't even have a position on marriage beyond believing that marriage ought to be decided by the states. Uh, and we prefer it be decided by the people, not through the courts. I mean, so you know, he can dress this up all he wants and talk about family and redefining marriage, but that doesn't have anything to do with it. The bottom line is people like Tony Perkins are in the, the industry of demonizing gay people. The reason why Tony, you know, and the Joseph Farah, the World Net Daily crowd, the extreme fringe of the conservative movement, why they're not participating, the bottom line is has nothing to do with policy at all. It's because we happen to be gay. If they were going to boycott, were they going to boycott Dick Cheney? speaking because Dick Cheney has the same position on marriage as we have or ambassador John Bolton you know are they gonna you know, you know, you know who does this litmus test apply to why does it only apply to the people who actually happen to be gay look it has nothing to do with policy nothing at all 
How does this affect the potential candidates, many of whom are going to be appearing at this at the CPAC convention? Always do. Well, I, look, I think it's unfortunate. I mean, this ought to be a celebration, a moment for the movement to come together as we, you know, we celebrate the a spectacular success we had in 2010, and as we turn our attention to taking back the White House and taking back the Senate in 2012. And instead of having this opportunity to celebrate, we've got people who are di dividing the conservative movement needlessly. I'll point out, GoProud never asked for anybody to be excluded, even people that we might have disagreements with. It's people like Tony and the Concerned Women for America America and those folks who have sought to exclude people, who've created this division, who've exploited it, who go on TV shows like this and talk about you know, the divided conservative movement. We keep saying over and over again, the conservative movement isn't divided. The conservative movement is absolutely united. You know, 99% of the conservative movement is united behind CPAC. And for all the people who are skipping you know, CPAC and boycotting it, it's the most you know, pathetic boycott of all time because this is going to be the biggest and the best CPAC pack ever. And you know, those, th th those are the realities. Those, those things speak for themselves. Christopher Barron, who speaks for himself as well. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks Thank for you, contributing Andrea. to this debate.